channel so today i'll be filming 20 things that i have learned in my 20 years of life yes i know i have not officially turned 20 yet but i'll be turning 20 on the 27th of this month so 26 days left and i thought it'd be like a good idea to film 20 things i've learned in my 20 years of life in 2020 do you get it <laughs> Um, okay, but before we get into this, if you are new here, please, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Um, join the family, and let's do this. Right here, I have my laptop. I have written down a few um, points on things that I want to share with you guys so that I don't leave anything behind. So if you see me looking this way, I'm looking at my laptop. So let's get into this. So the first thing that I learned... Um, in my 20 years of life is that nobody owes you anything and as much as you also don't owe anybody anything i feel like you should really people should just really keep in mind that people do not have to go out of their way to make you happy and as soon as you get that into your head that will literally just change your entire life you will stop expecting people to do things for you because they don't have to surround yourself with people and things that matter the most trust me vibes do not lie sis surround yourself with, with people who want the best for you and people who want the best for you are people who always want to see you at your best at all times always leave space for disappointment always one too many times you will get disappointed and um we just really need to get into our heads that things are always the way they seem and we only suffer because we, ima we, we imagine something different from what it actually is and as oprah once said people aren't always happy for you people don't always want you to succeed people don't always want to see you happy which brings me to my fourth point work in silence do not tell bad spirits your good news stop comparing yourself to the next person own race own pace daddy as long as you are content with where you are in life and you are sure of where you're headed what's yours will not miss you trust me number six anything is possible and dreams do come true dream child and go after your dream nobody knows your dream more than you do nobody knows what you actually want to achieve from your dream more than you do nobody can get your dream for you Number seven, mental health is very important. At any stage of your life, your mental health should be a priority. Do not compromise it for anybody. Do not compromise it for anything. Get to know yourself and trust your instincts. And to emphasize on number seven, I came across a quote um, a few weeks ago. It, um, it reads as follows. Even Jesus had to make a decision. I cannot please everybody. Even Jesus couldn't um, keep everybody happy. And here we are running around thinking we're going to meet everybody's expectations. But if Jesus who could walk on water, if Jesus who was the word and was with God in the beginning, if Jesus through whom all things were created and by whom all things were created and for whom all things were created, if Jesus who knew no sin, if Jesus who, who was the expressed image of the Father, if he couldn't please everybody, why in the world would you spend another day putting an ulcer in your tummy over somebody who does and doesn't like you? And I hope you take something from that because it summarizes everything that this video is about. Literally, we need to stop worrying about people's opinions over us. It's their opinion. It's what they think of you. That what they think of you doesn't mean it is actually what you are and honestly as i said it's their opinion it does not matter it does not define you it does not define the person you are it does not define your past your future your present and it does not define anything that has to do with you so i hope you take that to your heart number nine be selfish oh my goodness i'm gonna say i wish i could say this i don't know in what kind of way but be selfish make sure that you are selfish about yourself you are selfish about the things that mean the most mean the world to you be selfish about your well-being be selfish about your happiness be selfish 
about your dreams be selfish about anything anything that means the world to you number 10 have a grateful heart want more but do not be greedy give thanks for all the things that you have now and acknowledge the things that you once paid for that are here now it is okay to say no there are so many situations that we get ourselves into that could have been easy, easily avoided had we said no or had we just disagreed it is okay to say no as much as it is okay not to be okay master the art that is yourself there is a quote that says mastering others is strength but mastering yourself is true power and i couldn't agree more you get out of your comfort zone and do things that are out of your own comfort be uncomfortable there is literally no learning place better than a place that makes you uncomfortable because it makes you always it makes it, it teaches you a place that you never want to return to and i feel like if we were comfortable all the time we wouldn't be able to remember places that made us so comfortable that we promised ourselves that i never ever want to see myself in that situation again hence why it is so important to do things that will break you sometimes they will break you but some other times they will make you and um there's another quote that i i came across that says I'm not afraid of losing the person I am because the person I will be tomorrow is the one that will catch me. You are already failing by not trying. Honestly, I would rather you fail than not try at all because you'll be stuck in a place whereby you're always asking yourself, what if I'd actually done it and succeeded? What if I'd actually been in a more different um, setting or space if I had tried? You are, if when you don't try and let fear control you, you are robbing yourself out of new, you are robbing yourself out of experiences, amazing experiences, experiences that literally could just change your whole life forever. So for me, I would rather you try, fail, cry about it, and move on. Set goals. I don't know who said this or wrote this, but set goals that command your thoughts, liberate your energy and inspires your hopes stop overthinking trust me overthinking is the one thing that just drives us mad you you will get that job you will succeed you'll graduate you will do anything that you want to do because you can do anything that you put your mind to you will fall in love you'll get married anything that is meant for you will you will, will happen you just really need to trust the process celebrate moments even the little ones you think don't matter they actually do scat they add on to so many memories and i think we should just start celebrating moments nothing is ever as bad as it seems the sun sets and rises again the next day trust me and i think we've all went through situations like that whereby the world ends for you and it starts again the next morning love thyself daddy you will not know love until you're able to love yourself enough and i think we have this tendency whereby we expect other people when we like what everybody has flaws but i think we have moments where we're like oh my goodness i can't love myself enough today because i see so many flaws in myself and then you expect the next person to be able to fill that void that you're not able to fill um on your own and literally that is not acceptable you need to learn how to love yourself first before you expect anybody else to love you more than you love yourself and before you're able to love the next person as well. Lastly, always remember to breathe. Do not sweat the unnecessary stuff. Trust me, that is just you um, stressing for now. Sometimes you need to pause, make space, collect your thoughts, face the next moment, choose, move forward and just keep on going those are the 20 things that i have learned and um i want to thank you for listening and i hope that you took one or two things for your own self and um as as albert abad once said a little more persistence a little more effort and what seemed like hopeless failure may turn into glorious success so always remember that everything will work out what is yours will never ever miss you.